just a quick little update. I know I just updated a couple days ago, but um, someone reported in the Facebook group that a Japanese import BMW, 1997 BMW 5 Series was rejected, even though it has a 17 digit VIN. So now we know non-Japanese cars, even though they're from Japan, are also denied. So the RMV is simply denying anything that probably has a Japanese paper. Um, this guy did it through a dealership, so he sent it out and had a dealer do it. And um, what's interesting is the little comment below here, it says that, shh, it says that the comment below here is, um, Boston says that it's unsafe. Not like it doesn't meet FMVSS or not that um, <laughs> it's not registered with the NHTSA or anything. So that's, that's interesting that how they just kind of type that in. I know people are reporting that you can go to a certain RMV somewhere, maybe some clerk doesn't care or whatever, and there are full-size cars that slip through, even some Ks that slip through. We even have a report of a denial of a Massachusetts titled K truck. So it already has a mass title and they're also rejecting that. So the trucks are probably being denied, but then the trucks are probably being denied, but also any Japanese papers, when they see it, the clerk is a human factor. So they're going to see this and they're just going to assume it's one of those trucks and vans and they'll probably deny it. However, when it says BMW or something, I don't know. I don't know what they're up to there, but it, it doesn't matter. It's not a fun game to play to go wait at the RMV and, and be denied after you wait the entire process. Remember, time is money too. And I'm done playing that game with the RMV, so it doesn't matter to me personally but I will still fight for this cause and everything. I will go to that meeting. Remember, this meeting is September 18th at noontime at 10 Park Plaza at the Board of Directors. It's on the second floor. You go inside, go towards the elevator. You can either use the elevator or go up the stairs. And um, just sign in at the front if you wanna say something. Everybody gets about two minutes. And if we get 30 people there, that's an hour of somebody complaining about this whole process here. You can join the group. I'll try to post some stuff in an update on my website about the situation and what you could say. You could write up something that's more personalized to yourself, kind of model it after something else. So that way everybody has like a little two minute speech about something and we want them to know we're not gonna go away. We're just gonna keep pushing and pushing. I also have a FOIA request, a Freedom of Information Act. Like I requested the RMV to, to find keywords and whatever about this stuff. It's been two months. Uh, a few other people have submitted one too. They have been also been ignored, so we can even question, hey, why are you guys ignoring our thing? I mean, that's what sucks about FOIA. There's no penalties for the government ignoring you. So what's the real point? But that's a, that's a problem. That's a different discussion about this. But yeah, I'm not gonna get into that. Quick update. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Oh yeah, this is a crank pulley bolt.